What if we made a story where Finn from Adventures Time, George Costanza from Seinfeld, and Raven from Teen Titans all met up? All right, but what will they do together? They can form the three friends. George will be the leader, Finn will be the funny one, and Raven will be the level-headed one. But what will they do as the three friends? We can have you three become heroes and fight the evil Randomius of the multiverse. Wait, what is the multiverse? I thought that the multiverse was just something made up to balance out the gender ratio in superhero fiction. Oh, no, it is actually quite interesting. Let me explain. Tell me more. The multiverse is the collection of all the different universes. The universes are grouped into the strings of the already created universes. The size and shape of the multiverse is not yet known. The next thing I want to tell you is that these universe strings are like a web. Each string represents a series or an universe. The strings are connected to each other and they each contain an universe. The one above all. The strings are created by the creative gods of the multiverse. These gods are above all other beings of the multiverse, no matter in power or authority. The creative gods have an eternal battle with the one below all. The one below all is the ultimate force of destruction in the multiverse. I like it thus far. So, who else will the three friends meet on their quest to defeat Rindomius? They meet LeBron James from Real Life and Space Jam and his friend Pearl from SpongeBob. They are a paladin and cleric, respectively. Their side story revolves around fighting Bender from Futurama and stopping his deal with Randonius. Wait, Bender and LeBron are a paladin and cleric. What will the rest of the multiverse say about that? I just told you. Wait, what's that game plan? They are going to summon a giant SpongeBob Square Pants to defeat Randonius. Wait, you're not telling me all these characters will face off against Randonius. Isn't that against the rules of superhero fiction, where they all obviously must be the forces of good? Most of the time, yes. But this time, Randomius actually created those rules in his own universe to cause a dissonance within the multiverse, so that he would have time to build his army. Wait, what? Yes, my dear. How will we defeat him? The three friends, the one above all and his sidekick Kirby from real life and Kirby's Dream Land, will all team up with random characters, including Larry Koopa Jr. Mario will either be a villain or a possible ally or a NPC. The group will fight together to destroy Randomius. I think another faction in the three friends story should be an evil group of Plumbers Academy students. That does sound like a good idea. We could have them form a group called the Inquisitors. They will work for Randonius, who is their slaughter lord. Ouch. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Randonius is actually a humanoid from the planet, the planet of machines, despite the title. He was sent by his creator to destroy the multiverse. Wait, so the creator actually created Randonius? Yes, sorry about that. It is actually the creator of chaos. I hope that is to your satisfaction. That's cool. Randomius is stronger than I thought he would be. But I think we have time to work with. Yes, I do believe that we do.